Over the past two decades, we've heard the bold claims about water being the next breakthrough in engine technology. We're going to take a look at how exactly water engines work and why this isn't just hopeful thinking for a sustainable future, but real technology that is picking up pace quickly. How it works. First, let's start with hydrogen fuel cells. In simple terms, a hydrogen fuel cell works by converting stored chemical energy into electrical energy through an electrochemical reaction. The main raw material for this engine is, you guessed it, your average everyday water. The process starts with breaking down water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This separation is achieved using a device called an electrolyzer. Once the water is split, the hydrogen is collected and stored, ready to perform its magic in the fuel cell. Here's where the technology gets really interesting. The hydrogen, which is stored in tanks within the vehicle, is then channeled into the fuel cell stack. Inside the fuel cell, the hydrogen meets oxygen, which is extracted from the air using an air intake system. The hydrogen and oxygen engage in a reaction which causes electrons to get excited, thus creating an electrical current. This electrical surge then powers the electric motor, propelling the vehicle forward emitting nothing more than harmless water vapor. This application instantly caught people's attention, and the concept of providing a clean and reliable source of power has led to huge investments into hydrogen fuel cell technology. Breakthroughs And because of these large investments into this technology, there have been many recent breakthroughs that make the future of water engines extremely exciting. First, let's start with the biggest impact we've seen. Efficiency. Researchers and engineers have made significant strides in improving the efficiency of hydrogen fuel cells due to new catalyst materials and design optimizations. Specifically, this has led to higher efficiency in converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity, reducing energy losses and increasing overall performance. Whenever we talk about efficiency upgrades, we have to talk about cost reduction as they are often directly correlated. Advances in manufacturing processes and materials have contributed to cost reductions, such as using lower cost catalysts and improving manufacturing scalability. This has made fuel cells more economically viable for various applications. Then there are the huge leaps in durability. Enhancements in materials and component durability have extended the lifespan of hydrogen fuel cells which is a critical component to building market value and attracting buyers for hydrogen fuel cell cars. More durable and longer-lasting batteries leads to longer range and better lifetime value for car owners. Researchers have also developed more robust catalysts and membranes that resist degradation over time, leading to longer-lasting fuel cell systems with reduced maintenance requirements. So less time spent visiting car mechanics, which is a huge win. One area of this technology which has typically created anxiety in the past is hydrogen storage due to its combustible nature. However, innovations in hydrogen storage technologies have addressed one of the key challenges of fuel cell vehicles, storing and transporting hydrogen efficiently. Advances in material science and storage tank design have improved the storage density and safety of hydrogen, making it more practical for widespread use in fuel cell vehicles and safer overall to use as a viable fuel source. Refueling One key piece that we need to cover, how does refueling work? As simple as filling up a tank with water from your kitchen faucet? Well, not quite. In reality, the process of obtaining hydrogen requires a more complex set of technologies, such as electrolysis or steam methane reformation, which we'll cover soon. However, with advancements in technology, we're getting closer to a future where hydrogen production becomes more accessible and efficient. How fuel cells are made Hydrogen fuel cells are made through a complex manufacturing process that involves several steps. Here is a general overview of how hydrogen fuel cells are produced. First is the Membrane Electrode Assembly MEA. The MEA is the heart of a fuel cell and consists of a polymer electrolyte membrane PEM, sandwiched between two catalyst-coated electrodes. The MEA is often made using a process called hot pressing, 
where the catalyst ink is applied to the membrane and then pressed onto the electrode layers. Then the bipolar plates are created. Bipolar plates help distribute reactant gases and conduct electrical current within the fuel cell. They are commonly made of materials such as graphite or metal composites and are manufactured through various techniques like molding, machining or stamping. Next is the stack assembly. Fuel cells are typically assembled into stacks, which consist of multiple fuel cell units connected in series. The MEAs and bipolar plates are stacked together and compressed to ensure good electrical connectivity and gas flow between the layers. After stack assembly is complete, it's time for integration into the fuel cell system. The fuel cell stack is integrated into a complete fuel cell system, which includes components such as humidifiers, heat exchangers and power electronics. These components help optimize the performance, temperature control and power delivery of the fuel cell system. Before the fuel cell system is ready for use, rigorous quality control processes and testing are conducted. This ensures that the fuel cell system meets specific performance, safety and reliability standards. It is important to note that the manufacturing process for hydrogen fuel cells can vary depending on the type of fuel cell, such as PEM, alkaline, solid oxide or molten carbonate fuel cells. History The concept of a water engine may appear like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's based on real chemistry and physics. The roots of hydrogen fuel cells can be traced back to the early 19th century when Sir William Grove, a British scientist, first conceptualized the idea in 1839. Grove's groundbreaking work introduced the basic principles of electrochemical energy conversion, laying the foundation for modern fuel cell technology. Fast forward to the mid-20th century when interest in fuel cells surged due to the need for alternative energy sources during World War II. In the 1950s, Francis Thomas Bacon, a British engineer, made significant contributions to the field by developing a practical and efficient fuel cell design that utilized both hydrogen and oxygen. Bacon's work paved the way for further advancements in fuel cell technology. In the following decades, Research and development efforts for fuel cells intensified. One of the critical breakthroughs came in 1965 when scientists at the General Electric Research Laboratory developed the first proton exchange membrane, PEM, fuel cell. This type of fuel cell was highly versatile, compact, and could operate at lower temperatures, making it more suitable for various applications. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, NASA's interest in fuel cells grew due to their potential for space exploration. The Apollo space missions utilized fuel cells as a reliable and efficient power source, underscoring their viability for aerospace applications. In the 1990s, fuel cell research expanded beyond the aerospace industry and gained traction in the automotive sector. Companies like Ballard and Plug Power made significant strides in developing PEM fuel cells for transportation applications, with the goal of replacing traditional internal combustion engines. In recent decades, fuel cell technology has continued to evolve and mature. Advancements in materials, catalysts and system design have improved fuel cell efficiency, durability and cost-effectiveness. Today, fuel cells are used in a variety of applications, ranging from electric vehicles and portable electronics to stationary power generation and industrial settings. In summary, the history of hydrogen fuel cells is a testament to the tireless efforts of countless scientists and engineers who have pushed the boundaries of clean and efficient energy. From early conceptualization to real-world applications, Fuel cell technology has come a long way and holds the potential to transform our energy landscape for a brighter and more sustainable future. So there you have it folks, the truth behind the water engine. Like our video to help out the algorithm and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new updates. See you next time.